All right, so hi again. I just uh, did an unboxing of the brand new Turnigy 8, uh, AccuCell 8. This is the 8150, similar to the Turnigy AccuCell 6, but that one only charges um, 6S packs at 50 watts with a 1 amp discharge, whereas this one is 150 watts, so it's three times the power. It does 8S packs, as you can see, and uh, it also will discharge at 5 amps instead of 1 amp. So I'm going to be running it out of the new uh, power strip from... Uh, from Hobby King and uh, I've got my pair boards there as you can see so I can rip eight, eight packs at a time between my two chargers. So here's the other one over here. I just fired it up for the first time and so I want to show you guys what it looks like just so you can have a look. Um, again, any of you that have owned these other Chinese chargers, as you can see I've got a couple of them there. I've also really liked that FMA charger. Great chargers. Um, I am just going to show you what this thing looks like straight out of the box. So we'll plug it in here, <clears throat> got Turnigy on the screen, you can see there's the connectors it comes with as I showed in the unboxing video. And uh, let's just go through the menus here. Like I say, any of you that have owned these already know what they're going to be, but we start up here first time with LiPo, and so if we go in here, you can see we can do 7 amps uh, instead of the 5 amps I believe that the AccuCell 6 does, though I'm not positive on that. You can see you can do 8S here instead of 6, which is really nice. Um, so we've got a charge function, we've got a balance function, we've got a fast charge function, we've got storage charge, which at a 5 amp discharge, like I said, is really nice um, because you're going to be able to balance charge 8 packs down to storage level uh, really quickly. So that's really nice for all of my indoor packs because I've got a whole whack of them, so that'll be good. And we've got here a discharge, again there's our 5 amps, do 8S like I said. And so we've got LiPo, again, all of these do the same, so we've got nickel metal hydride, we've got NICADs, we've got lead acid batteries, um, I charge my trailer batteries uh, with my big chargers, so that's good. Um, you can save data or load data, which sometimes I put in my common packs, like I've got a lot of Gen Zace um, 450 milliamp hour 3 cells, little guys for uh, indoor slash outdoor flying with my EPP planes, like my Twisted Hobby stuff. And so it's really nice to be able to just stick that in there and hit go on your save data. Um, and as you guys know, we've got that program feature. Um, so we can go in here and it'll do LiPo, it will do li uh, lithium ion, and it will also do life packs, otherwise known, or slightly different chemistries, A123. I wouldn't run A123 on all my, all my planes actually, especially my giant scale stuff. I wouldn't run 2300 A123s. And uh, I actually use the graphing feature, the FMA stuff, because I can really, really get accurate um, on my balancing. But I don't need that accuracy for LiPos or anything else, just for A123s for their capacity. Um, so anyways, you can see you can do all those types in here. Um, again, LiPo is the stock one. So if we keep moving up here, it'll do your check times, uh, which you can set to whatever you want. You can set your uh, delta peak sensitivities. So... That means when it's going to peak the uh, voltage drop off to know that it's full. And so you can set those in here if you want to customize them. I used to have to do that back in the day. Um, temperature cutoff, again, this is set really high. 80 degrees Celsius would be smoking hot. So I'm just showing you what's default firmware set up out of the box. Um, you can see you can set your waste time uh, timer or, or gap between your charge discharge cycles. So if you want to run a um, if you want to cycle some old NICAD packs or some nickel metal hydrides, you could cycle them three, four times and just, you know, let it wait a few minutes in between each, each run up and run down. And again, this is kind of a new feature from some of my older chargers. I've got a Turnigy, um, an 80 watt there and also an old, um, uh, long max charger there, but they don't have this feature. So this is the, the trickle charge. So you can upper or lower this depending on what you want for, uh, trickle charge obviously for my great big um, uh, trailer packs I would uh, or uh, packs I mean my big lead acid batteries in my trailer uh, car batteries essentially except they're uh, they're uh, what do you call them trickle um, deep cycles but anyways you could opt this if you wanted um, again we've got this typical safety timer um, you've got your capacity cutoff and you've got your beeps your buzzers your low power cutoff uh, which is nice for in the trailer because um, I can turn this up a little bit just so I don't totally uh, kill my lead acid battery in the trailer and it's got a backlight function which my other ones don't actually I want to try this yeah you can totally see it works there so that's nice I think it'll go right to zero yeah um, so that's a nice little feature you can see 100 out of the box is a little bit bright 
And uh, again, that's the new, well not new, but new to me. Um, I've got two of them now. I just got them from Hobby King a couple hours ago. Haven't even tried charging anything yet, so I'll be testing their sensitivity uh, for their balance functionality. And from the others I've tried, they're, they should be really good. These AccuCells are a lot more accurate than a lot of the other chargers, um, other than the FMA stuff. Um, so yeah, again, like I said, you can 11 to 18 volt input. I'm going to be uh, hooking up there in that box. I've got some server power supplies from work, which puts out tons of power. So I can run one of them and run all five chargers on it with not even making them work at all. Because I believe they're, they're 47 amps and uh, I can't remember 600 and some watts each. Uh, you can see it's got 7 amp charge rate, which is a lot higher than the AccuCell 6. It's got a 5 amp discharge rate, which is 5 times higher than the AccuCell 6. It's got 3 times the output power at 150 watts. And like I showed in the unboxing video, it's got the USB um, hook up there on the side. So you can hook it up to your computer, do some graphing and stuff. I may do that later. You've got your 4 millimeter banana jacks, which actually look really good quality. Your temperature sensor connection, which it doesn't come with, but I've got one from my other chargers. And again, like I showed, you can do your um, your two cell up to your eight cell um, balance taps there. So again, like I said, I'm going to be hooking up these new pair boards uh, that I just got. So these are all the the Dean's type, um, which are going to be perfect. I got some 12 gauge wire there to do it, uh, a bunch of connectors and uh, some Pico plugs, and also some JSTs for my indoor packs and uh, other stuff, some FPV stuff to work on so anyways I just wanted to show you that there's a size comparison between the two so this is this other one on the right here this 80 watt is the exact same size as the Turnigy AccuCell 6 um, my brother has that charger and so you can see the size difference there is quite significant but it is like three it is three times the power and five times the power on the discharge so I mean it's understandable it has to dissipate a lot more heat so there you go quick review of the Turnigy AccuCell 8, the 8150, and uh, like I said, I'm going to be checking out its accuracy here shortly. Thanks.